Yo guys, what's going on? I'm Tim Kelly. This is The Real Sports Talk. Thank you for tuning in. Now, normally I don't cover the Boston Marathon and these type of events on The Real Sports Talk, but something I've been doing over the last year is not only, I mean, when I started the show, I was 14 years old, but I'm 17 years old growing up now, and I understand that sports is not everything, and there are events that are bigger than sports, and today's events that took place at the Boston Marathon, for numerous reasons, are much much bigger than sports. If you have not heard, I mean, I, I don't know how you wouldn't have heard by now. You probably won't, wouldn't be watching this video if you did not hear. But uh, at the end of the Boston Marathon, there were a few explosions that cost two people their lives. Uh, 27, I believe, are in critical care at this point. It, it's just, it's sickening to the point that wh where we've come in society, and I'll get to that more in a second. Jonathan Papelbon who obviously is now with the Phillies, but a former Red Sox pitcher actually lived in the area. He, he even e echoed similar sentiments. But not only were some killed, but we, we've seen pictures even now on dead spin. I was just looking at pictures of people with their limbs blown off, and it, it looks like a war scene. It's, it's absolutely gruesome, disgusting, and... I, I just I can't even believe you know what the sad the saddest part about this whole thing is is that we don't even view this anymore as this is the biggest tragedy in years we we just view this as this is the the latest thing to happen in, since the uh, shootings in Newtown and the Batman shooting that's just it's just the latest thing to happen it's not like this is one of those things that happens once every ten years or something horrific like that like we used to it's gotten to the point in a society where we have ex not I don't want to say accepted this but we almost expect things to happen and we're not surprised when things like this happen and we need to as a society as a culture to truly save ourselves and better the human race we need to we need to put a stop to this type of thing and I, I understand that there's always going to be terroristic threats and terroristic actions but if it turns out that this is someone that was bullied or someone that was just looking to go out this way or whatever the case is if someone did this and then killed themselves whatever we as a society need to step back and we, we need to reassess how we do things honestly because it's cheaper to get a gun than to go to therapy and people that go to therapy and try and get help as a society in America we, we laugh at people that go to therapy. We laugh at them. And honestly, it's, that, that is one of the biggest problems that I have with how this country is. Is all these people, when there's a tragedy that goes on, we'll, we'll sit back and we'll say... They'll, they'll be the people that are just worried about the victims. And, and they should be. But we'll sit back and we'll say, you know what... Deep down, I, I wish someone could have helped this person before they went off the edge like this. But then, when we when therapy is discussed publicly or anything like that, it, it's something that we laugh at, that we joke about. And maybe if we got some of these people help, they wouldn't be off doing things like this. I don't know if this was someone that just needed help or someone that was just truly insane or whatever the case is. But maybe if this is this person had gotten help and we had helped fix them and put them on the right path, then maybe this these type of things could at the very least be less frequent. Because the way we're headed now as a society, we are screwed. Because I've heard so many people in the last like two or three hours since I found out about this say, there's nowhere safe you could go anymore. I had teachers at my school in Pennsylvania running in this. So it's a huge event. And who, who honestly thinks when they go to a running event? I mean, I was just at a track meet. I was running in a track meet. And never in my mind has it ever entered to me someone could put a bomb below this, someone could do anything like that. But I guess at this point in, in the, the way that this country is especially, but really the whole world has become, maybe I need to watch out for myself more. And 
it, it, it's just it's sad where we've come to as a society we need to take a step back we need to reassess and we need to figure things out and come up with a plan as a country of, of things that we are going to do to try and stop things from that like this from occurring as frequently and rapidly as they are because it's almost becoming the norm and I don't think it's going to get better and that that's just an extremely scary thought that there's going to be more and more people and it's not long people will sit back and they'll say oh you know I'd feel bad but I didn't know anyone that was involved at some point if these things continue to happen you're going to know someone that's going to involve and it's going to hit home with you so we need to do something to figure out how to stop these so it does not affect you on a personal level and for the people that has affected on a personal level get them help for the people that are doing actions like this we need to figure out how to get these people help we need to make therapy cheaper we need to do something I don't know what it is but we need to figure something out because actions like this cannot continue to happen in America in the world anywhere um, thoughts and prayers go out to the family that uh, or of the people that were killed that were injured that are in critical condition the people that are in critical condition prayers certainly go out with them and it's just it's it's another sad sickening day in America to be quite honest with you and it's at a, a place that you never would have expected it to happen and that's probably what makes this the most sickening I'm Tim Kelly this is the real sports talk I'll catch you guys next time